It's time for some more Hebrew verb charts. Once again, we're looking at the call, which is the simple, the easy, the verbal action, the most uh, uh, simplest of all the verbal actions in Hebrew. And we're going to look at the, the form. The aspect is going to be the imperfect, which means that the action has not been yet completed. Thus, we are looking into the future. So in a way, we translate this kind of, it will happen, it will be. And we want to use the word right. That's going to be our action. The Hebrew verbal root, three-letter verbal root, of course, is the kaf, uh, tav, bet, and that's right. Now, if we want to say he will write, we would say this, yik tov. Okay, now, before we go too far, we want to note two things. First of all, when we have the imperfect, notice that we put a prefix on front of the word perfect in English. Now, this is going to help us as a visual reminder and a pattern that we want to see. We want to see a prefix added to the front of our verbal root. Now, if it was in the perfect, the past, the completed action, we would not have this prefix. So we're looking at the prefix of the yud, and if you go down the whole list, Notice that there's always going to be this prefix added to the front of the verb. That's going to help us and remind us about the im and imperfect. It's not a completed action. Second, what we also want to notice is that even when we write this out, writing the word to write, we say he will write. Notice that we put this in front of the verb. He will write. Whereas the perfect or the completed action, we just say he wrote but we're putting something before the verb. That's gonna be our pattern, our visual indicator. Now let's go ahead and continue to look. If we wanted to say, she will write, we would say, tik tov. If we wanted to say, you will write, masculine singular, we would say, tik tov. Now, of course, take a note that this is the same word. From the context, you will be able to determine if this is going to be a third person, a three FS, a third person female singular, or if this is going to be a second person, a two MS, a second person masculine singular. Now, if we wanted to say you feminine singular, so two FS will write, we would say tik ta V. Now, notice again that this is our Shiva, that's the silent Shiva whereas this one is going to be a vocalized Shiva, giving to us the sound of the consonant. Remember that pattern when they are next to each other? The one that is on the right side is going to mark off for us that syllable. The one that's on the left side is going to give to us a unique, distinct syllable with the, the quick sound of the consonant. Now, if we wanted to say, I will write, we would say, ek tov. Now, one of the other things that I want you to see here visually and even vocally as you, you say these words out loud is we'll notice the holom vav, the holom vav, the holom vav. Now, the pattern that we want to watch is whenever we're looking at verbs in the Hebrew, when you see a holom across the top, that O, oh, you want to stop and say, oh, something different is happening here. What's going on? Well, when we look at this verb and we say, oh, this is not the perfect, this is going to be the imperfect because we will notice the prefix on the front. Now, secondly, we also want to note that not on every one of these is there a tov. See, there's no tov here. When you say two FS, a, a U feminine singular, there's no tov. So take note of that. Now, let's go ahead and look at the plural. If we wanted to say they, masculine plural will write. So this is going to be a three MP. We would say yik to vu. Now notice again, the shavas here, the one on the right hand side is going to be the silent shava. The one on the left hand side is going to be vocalizing, giving to us that, that quick syllable with the sound of the consonant. So you have a yik to vu. They will write. If we want to say they feminine, so three FP, we would say tik tov na. Now look again, here is our, our holom with the vav. We did not see this up here, but now it comes back to us again, because once again, we have it here. Ironically, it is in the feminine. We did not see that before in the feminine. 
Notice that this was the one place right here that we did not have the O sound, but now we have it only in the feminine. In fact, we'll have the same form of the verb down here with a 2FP, a U second person female plural, which is also tik tov na, same word, context will tell you which one we're talking about. Now, if you wanted to say you masculine plural will write, you would say tik tavu. Now notice that this is very similar to what we had up here at the top with a they versus a you. The oo at the end gives us that plural, but what's different is the prefix. All of these have that prefix. If it's they, three MP, it's a you'd. If it's a you masculine, a second MP, it is a tav. Now, finally, if we wanted to say we will write, we would say nik tov. Notice the new at the, the prefix, like we have the personal pronoun for we is nak nu. So think of the new, but we also have that holum with the vav.